a quick conversation last week. There were actually just three men on set. Michael, uh, we had um, Chris Hart and uh, Ken Uko, and they're talking about the ready-made man. And then yesterday, there was a headline about still men and women and all of that. But to the conversation I had later that intrigued me, and I thought I'd put it to you ladies this morning, is that is our society at a place where we have underground polygamy, if I can call it that, that it is, you have this successful great men, okay, who are together, ready-made, if you like to put it that way, and so, of course, appealing and attractive to every other woman. And then you have the hustlers who are hustling from life to love, okay? Not, no pun intended. <laughs> and like so a reality show, <laughs> you know? <Yeah. laughs> so, the thing was, the question, should we just allow this thing of a man and, and you know, two, three, how many, however many women they want to be the okay mainstream thing instead of bashing, looking that side eye of the other woman, and yet it's happening, albeit, you know, feature, feature, chini, chini. I don't think we should look away or let it happen. That's what is wrong more. with it? There's nothing wrong with it if both parties are okay with polygamy. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and do it. It's like in Islam, when a man can marry more than one woman, up to four. But you need the consent of your wife. She needs to know. You can't do it in secret. In such a case, that's fine. Oh, I know you have another girlfriend. That's cool with me. Okay, let's do this. Let's be happy, all three of us together, or the two of you separate, two of us separate. It doesn't matter. But that doesn't make it a norm, though, does it? It shouldn't be acceptable to everybody. It can't be acceptable to everybody. But should those who choose to go that way then be criticized, be looked at as though they're going, you know, the criticism off the comes path. off of the lying and the cheating, not okay, the so having another partner. Okay, so they need to be honest, that's your point. Yes. Open about it. Yes. That there's this other person, this other person. Yes. Your thoughts? Well, you know, most of these things sometimes it just depends where you're standing at, um, where it begins at. Um, any relationship that begins from a point of deceit, it definitely will go the direction of deceit the other way. Why do you began, think people are began, lying though? Yeah. Why do you feel there is that need? Because that's a problem. There's a need to lie. Some men perhaps would want it that way that everybody knows. But it's because there's this woman who believes there should not be another. Why do you think there's that? Because for, for starters, the moment you have gone for somebody who is already with somebody else, you yourself, you've bypassed. I mean, you're entering a union that already exists. So you add the other the other dish, you know, dessert, or maybe, or whatever else it is, or just dessert. But if you got into it knowing that there will always be others, then you need to be honest from the word go. If that works for you, you stay. If it doesn't work for you, you walk. If you can't share like me, I won't share, I refuse. <laughs> if, you know, it just has got to be, either we are here, or we are not. Or we are not. If you misbehave, I walk. I will not go and start side eyeing and saying all oh, this, this, this and that. It's very simple for me. I will not compete. I will win. Okay. Yes. Uh, so the cheating you think comes from where? The lying about all of this. Because it's not acceptable in general society to have more than one partner at any given time. And that's where people, you don't, number one, you don't want to hurt someone else's feelings. Mm -hmm. Some people can't take honesty. Maybe, Sophia, I'm a guy and I really, really love you. You're amazing and everything. But I have Adiambo here, who's also very amazing, and I love her as well. Can you not love two people at the same time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I told you I love you, but I also I love Adiambo, you wouldn't believe me. You'd think she's taking something away from you, which maybe she is not. Yeah, so there's that <sighs> aspect as well. It's, it's interesting, though, but uh, it has reminded me of a story which I'm still laughing about it because it's actually true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it happened. Um, uh, you know, there's, um, there's an MP <laughs> who... He was dating three different uh, women at the same time, and he actually got to marry all of them at the same time. And then his wife. Mashallah. Oh, power to him. Did, did to they him. know they were all dating? He told them. And Good. He had a meeting okay. with them. And it's he called playing them. the field. That's what dating is yeah. anyway. He married them. Like that, that is what we need more of. Maybe, but then we have a well, lot of men who are more not grown. Let me tell you now. A lot of the <laughs> people just we know now. Be out there with the thing all cards out. And the thing about the people who want. Uh, who are looking at, you know, they've ordered their food, but they're still looking at the menu. Mm. It's what's happening with the current crop of men, because they have ordered. They're probably just at the altar, but they're still checking out 
the bride's yeah, bride's yeah, bride's you know, like it's but gonna that's be the thing. If it's fickle, then <laughs> don't get into it. Then don't get yeah, into it. But if it's yeah. something that you know is going to be long term, because some people actually do go the other way. They cheat for one night. Mm. That's not worth it. You're not really wanting to have somebody else fundamentally in your life. You're just greedy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay.